All legends take losses, similar to Dips said I'm Jada in the ring, swinging a guillotine hat. She call my gun Amber Heard, cause she real ratchet. She always trying to pop a nigga, such a bad habit. Dynasty. Sitting on the dock of the bay, watching the tides keep rolling away. But <laughs> I don't even know if I'm even saying those words correctly. <laughs> I left my home in Georgia. Yeah. You know, putting yourself second or last is like the worst thing you can do. I've done that in my lifetime, and it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad. Because when you do that, you push yourself to the back, people look down on you. They look down on you. They look down on you because they feel like you didn't, you didn't do anything. Like you, you wasn't successful. You didn't, you didn't achieve anything. And I remember... Not to bring up names or anything like that, but it's just a part of history. I was online. I was watching an individual, Kwame Brown, and he he had this saying, "Mom was cooking," so he was cooking Stephen Jackson. They call Stack Five, right? So I went on Stephen Jackson's Instagram, and I was I was I was messing around. He was he you know he, and I said I said mom I said I said mom was cooking. So he got he got tight. He came back to my page or Instagram, and he was like, "Oh, he said you mad because you failed at at at, at rapping or being an artist." No, I think he said, "Dude, you didn't make it." Something like that. I can't remember exactly what it was. It's not, but you failed in life, and I made like a little uh, video talking about him or whatever. Right? Man, it's, it's stupid stuff. Anyway. I found it funny though that this guy he's a he's a he's a millionaire, but he 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 had enough time to come talk to the bum, old five dynasty, you know, <laughs> the poor man. <laughs> so what he doesn't know is is that I'm a very talented individual though. Very, very talented. But I always took a back seat and I sacrificed for other people. I put other people on. I help other people instead of myself. So at the point or the time that he was seeing me, I haven't I didn't even do anything for myself really. I didn't even do anything for like a career for myself. I never really thought about my own entertainment career until 2020. You know, like maybe 2018, I started to make beats again, trying to, but I gave up for like a year. So I bought the NPC and then I started tr trying to use the machine, didn't know how to use it, gave up on it, put it to the side, came back in like 20, late 2019, going into 2020, I pulled it back out again. I started to mess with it. That's how I started meeting all these YouTubers and stuff. I started to, I started to. I started to look for tutorials and things of the nature of how to use the device and, you know, all the stupid stuff that I don't do anymore. Like, for now on, I'm just reading the manual. I'm not looking at no content creator. Forget all that stuff. I'm just going to figure it out on my own. That's what I've been doing. I've been just trying to ever practice it when it comes to certain things. And now, if I want to do something, if I get stuck, maybe I might love, or maybe if I want to, like, just be inspired, yeah, then I might look at something. You know what I'm saying? But just straight up, just going, just straight. Like, let me go look at that tutorial. No, nah, it's not happening no more. <laughs> I'm not doing that. So, I never, I never invested time into me. So, any artist I ever work with, guess what? I'm working for them. I'm worrying about them. So, all the time that I spent, it was mentally, I'm just worrying about. I'm worried about. Hold on, I'm getting, I'm getting calls. Let me just send a message. Hold on, I'll call you later. Yeah, play that. So, 
I'm mentally focused on other artists. I'm mentally not focused on me for many, many years. And then I remember I retired. Well, I was not even retired. I just stopped working. I just gave up. I quit for like 10 years. And then I came back. So I'm not mad at not being successful or because I never even invested time into me. So that's one thing that this guy, uh, Steven Jackson, when he made his comment, which was like, you know, he was just mad. He was mad because I said mama's cooking because he was getting cooked. They don't understand. But another thing he don't understand is I'm a very talented individual. So if really, to, t- to be honest, it really wouldn't even take me that long to get on top. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. And I, you know, you want to know something? Because all the only thing I would have to do is make some dope content or make I could make an ill dope this record. I could really get at get at him. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying to say like I will, I want to. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? I don't care to get at him. But like a dope record. Like just sit down and really make a dope record. And a good beat. That's about like one of those beats, right? Just, just make it. And then use all the keywords and hashtags and share it. And next you know, it'll start moving just because of his name. And next you know, I could take off. I could get out there if I was to make a diss record about it. You know what I'm saying? That way. Or I jump on the bandwagon on something that's hot and make content about it. And, and I can get out there. So I know there's ways of getting out there. I know I can do it. I know for a fact that I can get out there and have millions of subscribers. I know I can do it, man. I can just do Minecraft videos if I wanted to and just make the best Minecraft content possible because that video game gets tons of views and just be consistent, 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 consistent and just go on all the Discord chat rooms. And, and, oh, <laughs> I'm wilding. I'm moving that crazy. Go on all the Discord chat rooms and just post and be like, hey, check out my new video, blah, 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 and just go crazy. I know I can just go crazy on that way. And that's how other people do it and blow up. But that's not what I'm doing. It's not what I want to do. I want to focus on 05 Dynasty. That's why you see one hashtag, 005 Dynasty. I'm trying to do it my way, my own way. But that's besides the point. But sacrifice it. I don't think people should sacrifice because I've sacrificed in my life. I have children. I stay home and watch my children and I go to work too, but most of my week is with my children. I'm sacrificing. I sacrificed years of my career for somebody else's career so they can excel. But the problem with that is, is that People don't understand that that person who's sacrificing has needs and wants too. They want to feel good about themselves in their life. They want to feel like they're fulfilled, they're, they're being fulfilled or something's being fulfilled for them. So if a person is sacrificing, they should get also, man. And what happens is you sacrifice, you don't get nothing. And you get looked, you get looked down on because you don't have. You don't have the big bank account because you sacrificed your time to make sure your family was good. So you look bad. You look bad. Even if this person that's out there making money and doing whatever because you sacrificed so they could go do what they got to do, they look good. You look bad. You look bad. And it's not the fact that I don't want to go do what I want. I, 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 I want to go do what I have to do. I want to make that bread but I'm sacrificing and I don't get what I want at the end of the day. That's the worst part of it. When you look, sorry, thirsty. When you sacrifice and you don't get what you want, you feel bad in here. You feel bad in here. Then other people that see you, they look down on you, makes you feel even worse because you're like, damn, they didn't even know my story. They didn't even know I'm sacrificing right now for the greater good of a family or a a singer or a rap artist or a producer or a graphic designer or somebody who's in e-commerce or somebody who's doing the stock market or somebody who's a nurse, or somebody who's a doctor, or somebody who is whatever. 
there's, there's a lot of times, if you check, there's somebody who's sacrificing that's behind somebody else that's successful. And I'm one of those individuals, even though I'm immensely talented, very talented. I don't give up either. I got people who look down on me. <laughs> but they don't know. The future will look a little bit brighter for your boy. And when the bag starts coming in and I'm able to move a lot more freely, it's over for you guys, you girls. Because a person like me, and I know it, is very dangerous. Very dangerous. Because I could do way more than you guys and you girls, and I could do it a lot more better and efficient. And I've shown it. I've literally ended season two of my vlog series and it's only because I wanted to. Like, if I wanted to put this video right here on season two, I could have. And this video, as I'm recording it, is probably 6, 12, 15, 18, probably 18 episodes in. So as you're seeing in this video, I'm probably already 18 episodes, maybe more, episodes. Yeah. Yeah. So, in the near future, your boy over 5 Dynasty might hit the internet real hard. Real hard. Um, I'm telling you, dude. You're going to see the real me. Full, like, just bursting out like Goku, Vegeta, like, Super Saiyan mode. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Because... I'm done sacrificing. I'm done. I'm done sacrificing. I've I've literally sacrificed every career possible. My dancing career, I sacrificed that to help other people. I was teaching for many, many years. Teaching people. I wound up teaching so many people. Some of my students wound up making it on BET, dancing, in music videos. There was a 106 in Park winning competitions. I never, I never took, I never did it though, because I was sacrificing. I sacrificed to teach them. That's time that I could have been auditioned, going to auditions, trying to get on shows and things of that nature. I sacrificed trying to live and trying to survive, basically, when I was living with my pops. You know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like this time, time is wasted. So much time is wasted. I'm just doing stuff. Doing different things. I sacrificed by working two two jobs and going to school. <laughs> I would get up in the morning. I would go to school. Finish school probably around like one o'clock. Have to get to work. Be to work by three o'clock. Three three thirty. Can't remember one of those. Get to work, leave work at like 7 o'clock, run home, sleep for like an hour, hour and a half, and then go right to work at nighttime. So I was going to school, and this, at this time I had dropped out of high school. So I was going for my GED. So I would go to school for my GED. Then from there, I would go to work. I was working at the Boys and Girls Club after school program. I, mean, I worked for them all year round, but at this time, it's after school program. Summertime, you know, it's different. You work longer hours. And then from there, I would go work at Target, doing stock and stuff at night. So my entire day, I literally would sleep like, like a little bit, maybe like two, three hours. But I was younger back then, and it still wasn't healthy for my body. But I was sacrificing, trying to just get make ends meet, whereas I wasn't putting my effort into one thing focusing on my dancing career at that time and just going to auditions, practicing, go audition, auditions, try to do modeling and all stuff. Like, you know, entertainment, so I wasn't doing that. So I never really invested fully in me. I always, in some way, some form, had to put time elsewhere. 
household was a mess. Everything was a mess. It was there was no way of really ha having a stable foundation for myself until so I got older, and now I'm doing it now, which is crazy. 